Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about radar tracking using Kalman, Kalman filter. Uh, this example shows how to use a Kalman filter to estimate an aircraft's position and velocity from noisy radar measurement. This example has uh, three main functions. Uh, first one is uh, it generates air, aircraft position, velocity, acceleration in polar coordinates and also it adds measurement noise to simulate inaccurate readings by the sensor and it uses a Kalman filter to estimate position and velocity from the noise environment. Here this uh, after run the model output it shows the uh, actual trajectory compared to the estimated trajectory, trajectory values. The estimated residual for range and also the actual and measured and estimated position in the x north and south uh, east and west and north south position here this is a subsystem called radar kalman filter block subsystem uh, this subsystem estimate uh, estimate the aircraft position and velocity uh, is my velocity performed by the uh, subsystem the subsystem samples the noise environment and converts them to rectangular coordinates and sends them as input to the TSV system toolbox uh, Kalman system block this one this Kalman filter blocks produces two outputs uh, in, the, in this application the first is an estimation of actual position and the second uh, from Kalman filter block estimate the state of the aircraft uh, for example first in uh, experiment is increasing the measurement of noise and the second one is uh, my measurement of noise covariation parameters in this example you are going to see here uh, the random aircraft motion is the input here uh, the noise power you, you have to uh, give this uh, this block is uh, the band limited white noise block it generates normally distribution random numbers that are suitable for uh, using continuous or hybrid systems here we are uh, you have to have set the parameters that is a uh, noise power sample time and seed values here is a model xy model and xy velocity model this is acceleration model block and the xy velocity block and xy position block this is a aircraft position block finally the xy to uh, range bearing block this one then this is a uh, radar measurement noise you have to give, set the radar measurement noise as an input and then here we have to uh, set the uh, uh, we, are, we can vary the measurement noise, increase the measurement noise and also um, uh, set the measurement noise covariation parameters by using these plots. There is a miss and noise intensity block here. We have to set the gain gain value 300 feet here. Uh, this is a uh, 300 means is uh, the maximum magnitude of noise is 300 feet. The, in this present model, the noise is added uh, to the range uh, estimate. Is rather small compared to the ultimate range that is a uh, 300 feet a yeah, maximum range of uh, 40,000 feet also you can give here yeah, in place of 300 you can set 40 up to 40,000 feet and try to increase in the magnitude of uh, range noise to a uh, larger value for example five times five times of this uh, amount in place of uh, 300 you can choose 1500 what will happen you check before that this is a normal uh, normal set value here on the multiplication in the form of element wise or matrix wise this is a vector wise you can uh, see finally the, the polar coordinates the same input to the radar Kalman filter blocks in this block here yeah, measurement it starts this is a Kalman filter blocks here these are the the Kalman filter estimate the state of uh, dynamic system from a series of uh, incomplete and or uh, IC measurements so these blocks can use previously estimated state to predict the current state it also use the current measurement and the predicted state, predicted state to the estimate the current state's values these are the parameters you have to set number of filters one here enable filters always in the you have to select these blocks here initial condition for is estimate state these are the default parameter click and apply you can see the uh, uh, radar tracking using this Kalman filter block now you can see after run it will happen each previously we set the values about 300 data tracking here uh, these are uh, you can observe the blue lines uh, representing the estimated positions have moved uh, further from the red lines here we have uh, these are red lines it shows um, red lines representing the actual positions 
and the cows have become much more uh, bumping and jagged here. Uh, try setting the measurement coefficient parameters. Now you can see the measurement coefficient or uh, the increase the gain. What will happen? You check 1500 feet. You can apply. Now you can see the variation in uh, graph. This one. Here also uh, east west portion and north south portion is the estimated distributed range also there. Here uh, actual tra trajectory is a red, uh, red line and the estimated uh, tra trajectory values in uh, green line. And also here now we can observe that when the measurement noise estimate is better, the east west and uh, north portion estimates curves become smoother here. <coughs> the north, north and south portion curves consistently under underestimate the position. Then next you can see the variance, variance measurement. Here you can see the variance positions. This is the initial condition for estimated variation variance. You can you can select this variation value. In place of 300, you can select, for example, this uh, 1500. What will happen? You check. Here you, you can see the differentiation for this is actual versus your mean, uh, mean mean covariance measurement of noise covariation parameter value and estimation. Here uh, given the given, given example shows how noisy the uh, measurement are compared to the values of uh, NS. That is a north south portion coordinates. This is, a, uh, is estimated. Now we, we can uh, expect the behavior. What you will, uh, what you will, what is our requirement? You can see. Is there a, uh, the example shows the radar tracking using Kalman filter? Normally, the Kalman filter uh, is used for <coughs> the, uh, tracking radar, radar tracking and navigation uh, applications. This way, you can use Kalman filter uh, for radar tracking. Thank you.